hey guys and welcome back to my channel um this is going to be i have a lot of mail coming in um i got some mail i have to do but i wanted to do a, a quick project share um before i started uploading all my mail um as you guys know i was looking for the bunnies from the dollar tree and all that and guess what I did have somebody find some for me and they're in a box probably in the mail today like that I have to open today but I did have well my husband went and ordered the whole case so I've done three trying to get my crafting back going so I will show you this is my first one this was not my idea remember this is Anna Wright is the one that that she has a tutorial on these now I did change mine up a little um at least this one like I did mine a little different here and I just have mine like hang in here and I put a brad and some whiskers on on her and then a eyeball it does move and then this is the back so this is my first one that I've done how cute is that right so I've been working on them. This is my second one. See, some I'm going to have like with eyes, some I'm not. Like this one, I put a green button, and this one came with this button, this little flower thing. I pulled hers off, and I thought it just turned out really cute. So, but this is the same paper. It is Cat Being Psycho. Um. I don't remember. It's the uh, Echo Part Easter paper. Then the other one I have is more of a vintage. And it was just paper that I had in my stash. And I have no idea. But And I did this. Um, we're going to do it up. Um, I did put like behind it. This is like a little bit of ribbon. A little bit of blue. I did a bow. Look how cute they are. So I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these. And I'm just going to hang on to them. And if I feel froggy, I might send some to other people. Um, but yeah. How cute are they? Yes. I, see, I was going to do two like this. Like kissing bunnies. Look how cute that'd be. So this is my interpretation of what she, what hers looks like. So, but this is my version. I do like the one with the eyeball, though. I don't, I don't know if I did do this. It was a just a a brad, and I popped the things off, and I glued it, and then little tweet like little whiskers. And my mom gave me a whole bunch of vintage eyeballs, so that's where that came from. Okay, guys, that is my project share for today. I hope you guys are doing wonderful, and I hope you're having a happy Friday. Oh, I guess I can show you one more thing. I sure can. Um, P had gotten me that gnome. Hi, P, for my birthday. The gnome stamp. So I've been coloring and using, can you believe it already? Alcohol markers. Usually I don't use my alcohol markers. Usually I go ahead and do watercolor pencils or water pencils. But I'm trying to do my alcohol markers. So I have that one. I have this one. So I have been coloring. See, I started these two. So these are my next two. Um, I have this one. Look how cute it is. Now I did take this off of him. Um, I do have it. I just took it off because I didn't know what I was going to do with him yet. But look how cute he is. And this, I think, is my favorite one. So I'll wait to... And then Zach one, the black beard one. I'm not done with this one. He looks evil to me. Even though he's uh, blue and pink, he looks evil <laughs> with his mustache. I don't know. He looks evil. Okay, so I went ahead and I... Colored them with the alcohol markers. And then, look at that. This glitter is from the Dollar Tree. 
if you can believe that. Now, I did. I don't know. A lot. Yeah, it's not coming off now as much. So, what I did is I had used my Berry Art glue and put the, the glitter on it. Look how cute it is. And then after I was done, I know this is not the way it's supposed to work, but guess what? I saw how I did it. I sprayed this on top of it, and this went like this. That's all I did. And you still get some, but not a lot of glitter. So I'm happy with that. But that's what I got. So, guys, that actually is really all I've been doing, except doing invoices and packaging stuff from the garage or the 